My name is Matt Edmondson, and beside <coughs> me is the talented and beautiful, debonair, gorgeous Setup <laughs> Bainon, who is the show's producer. Uh, it's great that you're all here with us. Yeah, why are you laughing? Uh, in our August series uh, called the uh, What we're doing, uh, dear listener, is if you didn't catch last week's episode, August is a little bit different, isn't it? August mm -hmm. is one of those funny months of the year. And so we had all kinds of grand plans for August this year, but alas, we decided to change it very last minute. Yeah. So we are recording uh, these episodes uh, where Sadaf and I have a little chat about mm -hmm. things that we have learned along the way from e-commerce cohort. We're going to explain what e-commerce cohort is. We're going to talk about the lessons today from Oliver Spock's workshop, um, what they meant for our business, our e-com business, and just to give you a little flavor of what's going on behind the scenes. It's going to be a cut down version of the show, of the podcast, because we appreciate August is one of those things. It's just one of those months where most of the world seems to shut down. So uh, yeah, hopefully that all makes sense. Uh, does that make sense, Salaf? I don't know. I. I... <laughs> I know what we're doing. I don't know if I've explained it well enough. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Makes good sense. Carry on. Good. <laughs> good. That's the main thing. So, <laughs> Cohort. Let's talk about Cohort because Cohort sponsors <clears throat> e-commerce podcast. If you're a regular listener to the show, you will have heard me say something along the lines of, this show is sponsored by e-commerce Cohort. Uh, and uh, e-commerce Cohort is something that we do. It's part of our business network for want of a better expression um, and it's this basically is training e-commerce training that you can sign up to uh, and the way it works is every month we do an expert workshop um, and we do a mixture of coaching and Q and A's around that expert workshop to help you extract the best parts of it for your business um, and we say listen take away like three or four key key points from that workshop mm -hmm figure out how it's going to apply to your business. We help you that with that with coaching. Uh, any questions you've got, we do with live Q&A. And then hopefully it helps you grow your business. It's kind of like e-commerce podcast, but on speed. It's kind of really focused on being <laughs> hyper practical, isn't it? And the workshops are yeah. hyper practical uh, from these great guests. So that's kind mm -hmm. of how it works. Have I missed anything? No, no, all, not at all. all there. Yep, all there. All yeah. there. Awesome. That's the main <laughs> thing, right? As long as yeah. I've got it all there. So, which one are we doing today, Mrs. Bainon? What cohort episode shall we do? Or cohorts? All right. Workshop? So, we're going to keep um, going with the momentum from last week or a few minutes ago with a peek into <laughs> the number crunching don't world that. of e commerce. That, that, don't say Because everyone's like, what do you mean from a few minutes ago? Right? Just, no, 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 no. This week, we, we, we obviously record these episodes once a week to keep on oh, top yeah, of it. We don't definitely, batch record in definitely. any way. That was just uh, uh, a slip. <laughs> <laughs> it just, yeah, so happens, Matt, you're wearing the same top that you were wearing before, but that's okay. Yeah. You know, it's just as what it is, really. Yeah. But no, we, we, we recorded episode one and then we've gone straight into episode so two for August. So yeah. uh, behind the scenes, full exposure. We are doing these back to back uh, recordings and we're not going to get them all done, are we, today because of time. But yeah. um, but that's what we're doing because August, we tend to not be around as much. So uh, we appreciate you're on holiday, but we're on holiday as well. So, uh, just <laughs> yeah. clarifying, we're not being lazy, but yeah. No. So from a few, sorry, I totally interrupted your flow then. What were you talking about? No, no, no that's okay. I was saying that um, today we're going to be diving into the number crunching world of e-commerce metrics with Oliver Sparks. So we're going to be talking about the lessons we learned from his workshop. And um, how about we start with... Um, you know, we were talking about the the three letter abbreviations that we have all over e-commerce. So AOV and CAC and, um, you know, all that good stuff. So all Matt, do you want to jump? <laughs> do you want to um, talk about do that? Wanna, do you want to build a snowman? No, it's, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll talk about Oliver, Spark and metrics. Mm -hmm. I think what you need to do though, Sadaf, whilst mm -hmm. I just sort of talk about some of the lessons that we have, you should go into chat okay. GPT and see if you can come all up right. with a much sexier title or description, then we're going to do some number crunching and metrics because it's okay. just one of those things where you just go, oh, it's maths, I don't care. 
Listen, uh, Matt, I think I don't think it matters what kind of title you give it. It's always going to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, your challenge is to go try and find a different anyway. Uh, <laughs> that's two bits of this. Now, uh, full disclosure, uh, Oliver's workshop at the time of recording was one of the most recent ones. We've got Monica mm -hmm. coming up in August, um, mm -hmm. which I'm really looking forward to. But Oliver's is the most recent uh, workshop that we've had. And whilst metrics can sound a bit dull and uninteresting, Oliver made it actually really, really interesting. Um, and we learned a lot from this. We watched the workshop as a as a company. We went through it. We had lots and lots of conversations, um, lots of conversations. And Oliver has been on the podcast as well. So if you caught that episode, you'll know that Oliver is, in fact, from the white company. He was one of the guys that sort of got it to where it is. Um, it's a huge company here in the UK. And so he took it, I think, from six million at that point upwards. I can't remember the exact time he joined, but he knows retail. And one part of his story is the discovering of sort of key metrics, which really helps him understand the growth of his business. And this is what he was talking about and how we can do it in a super practical way. So and the reason I liked Oliver's workshop is because he agreed with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, this is <laughs> it's a beautiful thing when you come across experts who say the same thing that you do. It makes mm -hmm. me feel good about myself. Now, he was um, a bit like when we talked about Vance Morris in last week's episode a few minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, he agreed with me uh, about a few things now um, about touch points. But Oliver talked about key metrics which you need to measure. And we've talked mm -hmm. about this, haven't we, in our office. There are three key metrics that you have to be really aware of. Uh, the number of new customers you have, the average order value, and mm -hmm. what I call customer frequency, but what Oliver calls AOC, which is the average number of orders per customer. Mm -hmm. I call it customer order frequency, same thing. Um, but this is basically how many times a customer will place an order with you, uh, say mm -hmm. over a 12 month period. So if they place two orders a year, can I increase that to three orders a year? For example, if I can, I'm going to increase my business by a third, right? So if I can increase average order value by a third, I'll grow my business by a third. If I can increase new customers by a third, I'll grow my business by a third. Mm -hmm. The cool thing is if I increase the number of customers and the average order value and the customer order frequency, if I can increase all three at the same time, uh, I don't I, I get geometric growth, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. which is where it starts to become quite beautiful anyway. He talked about this, Oliver. He talked about tracking the number of new customers, um, the customer order frequency and average order value, which was great for us. Just validation that we were on the right track um, and really liked how he was thinking. Love how he's got something called Sweet Analytics, a little bit of software. If you're looking for a dashboard, check it out. Um, it's uh, it, we're, we're having a little play on it at the moment, actually, with uh, with one of our e-com companies. Um, because it tracks these three metrics really well, which I, mm -hmm. I which for me are, are really key metrics, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that was uh, really, really good, really validating. And just, mm -hmm. again, looking at that from our, our point of view, one of the things that came out of it, he said this on the podcast and he also said this in the workshop. Um, and he talked about it on the in the workshop a little bit more which I've never really heard anybody talk about. And this was, mm -hmm. um, you know, when you get these sort of little aha moments when someone's talking, you write it in your notes and you star something or you draw, I draw boxes around things because I thought it was super mm -hmm. cool. The way Oliver mentioned this, he said, you need to understand the number of new customers you have to have to get your growth target. So if you want to grow from 1 million to 5 million over the next three years, how many customers do you need in year one, in year two, in year three, what are the new, what, are, so don't just tell me you want to go from 1 million to 5 million. Translate that down mm -hmm. to actually how many new customers you need to go and get, right? Mm -hmm. And so this was super powerful because everyone's growth target I've ever come across is we want to grow by 20%. So it's either a percentage growth or we want to grow by a turnover number. We want to grow by a million pounds. We want to grow by $300,000 a year or whatever your growth targets are, right? And everyone defines it in those two terms where Oliver came in and did something differently. He says, oh, these are great. Actually, what does that mean in terms of number of new customers? And so to understand the answer to that question, you've got to understand how many of the customers, um, how much a customer buys, what's the average order value? What's that mm -hmm. customer free, you know, how many times they come back, what that has, 
you've got to extrapolate that with some clever maths in Microsoft Excel or use Suite Analytics, either way, um, to come up with a magic number. So if I know actually to reach my growth targets, I need 2,446 new customers. Mm -hmm. Well, that becomes quite defined, doesn't it? That becomes quite, um, becomes a lot easier from a marketing point of view to go, mm -hmm. right, go and get me two and a half thousand new customers. Um, the third lesson, obviously, Oliver talks about then following on from that is CAC, your customer mm -hmm. acquisition cost. So understand how many new customers you need, what it costs to go and get a new customer. And obviously that needs to be lower than the value they bring to your business. <laughs> mm -hmm. Otherwise you yeah. have problems uh, and you're hemorrhaging cash. But so let's say a customer average order value is 100 bucks, but it costs you 30 bucks to go get the client and you need 2000 of them. Does your marketing budget then have a 60,000 um, uh, allowance in it to go and get those 2000 new customers, right? Mm -hmm. So your marketing budget is set around the number of customers you need to go get. Um, which I thought was very clever, uh, very insightful. Obviously, those are the things that we need to include in our marketing budget, email marketing, repeat purchases, and all that sort of stuff, which is great. But in terms of customer acquisition, go and get new customers. The big takeaway for me, can you define the number of new customers that you need? Mm -hmm. What's the cost of getting them? And does your marketing mm -hmm. then align with those things? Now, he talks about that mm -hmm. and much more in the workshop. Um, gives you some great ideas about how to measure them, how to do them. Um, but that was the powerful takeaway mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a growth strategy that is cognizant of the value of new customers is is quite game changing, isn't it, for an e-commerce business? It's not yes. like yeah, the the metrics um, help to um, to guide the, the the direction of your business, but. Mm having that information makes it seem like it, it takes it to a different level. Yeah, it does. And this is true whether you're starting out, mm. uh, whether you're mm. brand new to e-commerce or whether you've been, you know, like me, you've been around a while and you're a bit of a dinosaur mm. in e-commerce. Um, but this ability to translate it down, like I need to go and get 500 new customers this month and just mm. track that and relentlessly track it and mm. go, am, am I, am I going to be on target? Yes or no? There's obviously more to mm. it. And Oliver covers that in the workshop. But you're right, it's one of those um, things that is, it's game changing because it's very definable. It's su certainly mm -hmm. quantifiable. Um, yeah. And and going after that, I think then becomes um, mm -hmm. becomes one of your primary aims really uh, in e-commerce. Yeah. And so really valued that workshop, you know, uh, Oliver, mm -hmm. such a legend. We've had a lot of conversations since actually, a lot of questions came in, gone back and forth with him on some of the answers to those questions really intrigued by some of the ways he measures things and um yeah fascinating guy we're doing actually a joint call this week um mm -hmm. with a company which i'm really looking forward to actually be really interesting to see how he works yeah. um and the other thing i'm looking forward to is getting behind the scenes on his dashboard software um and see what that comes mm -hmm. up with uh because i've not actually i've seen some screenshots of it oliver showed me a bit of stuff but i'm getting into play on it and stuff will be quite cool so nice. Yeah, do check him out, Oliver. Oliver Spark, you can find out more information at Sweet Analytics. I think it's sweetanalytics.com. It is. It is it Sweet is. Analytics, yeah. Now, when we did the workshop, uh, the way we do this, ladies and gentlemen, you, you will not know this because you've never been in how we do this. But what we do is we get everyone around a monitor in the mm. office. We watch uh, the workshop and we usually have someone leading that. It's not me all the time. In fact, it's very rarely me. It's like mm. if it's a marketing sprint, Jen, who heads up marketing, will do it. Um, and so Jen will get everybody around. She'll bring cakes or pastries in or something. We'll sit and eat yeah. them and watch it on a Tuesday morning, the, the workshop, and then we'll chat about it. Tomorrow mm. was actually a Tuesday. Last week, we watched Oliver's uh, sprint. Um, but you weren't there. No, I was because you are in sunny Canada. You were not in the office. <laughs> you are on your uh, extended trip away. Thanks to oh, yeah. digital, it's like, I'm gonna have two weeks off and then I'm just gonna stay in Canada for three weeks. I'll, I will work <laughs> in Canada, is what I will do. <laughs> As I'm hanging Not out enough. by the pool with my family. Uh, and then I'll be back <laughs> at the end of July. We're like, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, yeah. So you actually missed this one, didn't you? You missed this whole workshop I sprint. I did, yeah. Uh, I see, miss it, miss it, what can I say? What can I say? So yeah. That was um, that was Oliver, and I think mm. if you want to know more about Oliver, do check out his podcast. His podcast was mm. super cool; really enjoyed it. And in fact, it was his podcast. He came on as a guest, 
after, and this is normally what happens with cohort. I, I interview people on the podcast and I thought Oliver is such a legend. I thought he could do super well on one of the workshops. Um, and so he offered to do the workshop. He did this hour long extra training. The workshops are only about an hour, by the way. They're not like four hours long. We, we, uh, we have the, the workshops uh, delivered in an hour or under mm -hmm. uh, has to be there because we want it all to be lightweight. We, want co we, don't, want, yeah. we don't want to add to the overwhelm because we're already mm -hmm. overwhelmed, don't we? Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we don't want to do that. But um, if you want to know more about Cohort, do check it out, ecommercecohort.com. Obviously, any questions, you can email us and we will try our level best to answer them. But if you would like to join Ecommerce Cohort, we would love to see you in the, in the membership. And of course, absolutely no pressure to do that whatsoever. Just stay sub subscribed to the podcast. You're also going to learn a lot from that. So it's a win-win scenario, yeah. I feel. Win-win, <laughs> right? So, yeah, awesome. Uh, cool. Anything else from you, Mrs. Bainon? Uh, no, I think, um, I think we're good. think we are good, which is great. So let me play this. Let's have the theme tune in the background because it's time to end the show. Thank you so much for listening to our special August series where we've looked at uh, Cohort with Oliver Spock. Next week, we are looking at marketing personas with Neil Hort. I'm laughing because I don't actually know when we're going to record the next one. So we're going to get into that. Uh, obviously, all that's left for me to say is you are awesome. Created awesome. Always like to finish the podcast off with this positive note. It's just a burden you have to bear. Sadaf has to bear it. I've got to bear it. You've got to bear it too. Uh, have a fantastic week wherever you are in the world. I see now all oh, the music's finished already. I talked way too long. Uh, have a fantastic. Let me play it again. Uh, there we go. Have a fantastic week. It's the high yeah. professionalism here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, have a fantastic week wherever you are in the world. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>